This is a basic school video showing you the methods that we use for addition. The first method I'm going to show you is called the column method. When writing down the numbers, you write one on top of the other, so 58 with 36, taking care to make sure that the units have all stayed in one column and the tens have all stayed in one column. We now add these numbers together. So first you add the units together. So that is 8 add 6, which gives an answer of 14. Now you only ever write down the unit and then the 10 gets carried into the next column. Now, when I'm adding the 10s together, I've got 5 add 3, but I'd also add this one here, give me an answer of 9. And what we do then is cross out the 1 to show that we've added it. So the answer to 58 add 36 is 94. The next method is called the jumping method. Here you'd partition one of the numbers, so I'm going to partition 36 into 30 and 6 and add in different stages. I'm going to start off on 58 and then first of all I'm going to add 30. So that means I'm just adding a 3 to the tens column here, so that would give me an answer of 88. But I was supposed to add 36, so now I'm going to add on the 6. So 88 add 6 gives me 94. Some people like to split the jumping process into more steps, and they would do something along the lines of this. First they would add the 30, and still get 88. But then they would add a number bond of 2 to take that up to the next 10. And then they would say they still needed to add 4 to get this totalling to 36. So 90 add 4, giving 94. The final way of doing it is again just taking more stages, looking at the 58 and thinking, right, what do I need to add to make that to the nearest 10, which would be 2 to take it up to 60. Then add the 30, which gives you 90, and then again checking what these numbers have gone to so far, which is 32, and saying, right, I need to add 4 on finally to get 94. These methods are all one and the same, it's just different ways of going about it. For larger numbers, the jumping method isn't a great way to work. It's not really going to help us with numbers like this. We really would recommend that they use the column addition way for this. So making sure that these are written in the right columns. The most obvious mistakes here is that someone would write down 53,672 and then start writing 8, 5, 1, 9, like that. But that would be wrong. What should happen here is that you take care to make sure that numbers in the same place value go in the same column. So if I write the titles here of unit, 10, 100, 1000, and tens of thousands, then when I'm writing in this number here, the 8519, that also has a unit, a 10, a 100, and a 1000. They must come into the same columns here, so the thousands, the 8, that must be written here under the 3. The 5 must be in the hundreds column, the 10 must be in the tens column, and the 9 units must be in the units column. Now I would add these together. First of all, I get 2 add 9, which gives me 11, and as before, you write down just the unit and carry the 1 to the next column. So in the next column, I'm doing 7 add 1, but I'm also adding this one here, and that would give me an answer of 9. I cross that one out to show I've counted it and write down the 9. Now here I would get 6 add 5 which again would give me 11. So write down the unit, carry the 1. In the next column I would get 3 add 8 and this one here which gives me an answer of 12. So writing down the 2 units and carrying the 10. Finally in this last column I've got 5, add this one here which gives me a final answer of 6. So my very final answer being 62,000 191.